Hey everyone, it's Cameron Romberger here again from McLan Racing. Today's video is going to be about the new McLan app update. This update now enables you guys to be able to save your tunes as well as then reload those tunes so you can have a backup ESC with the same tune or you could load your ESC tune onto your friend's car or your backup car, you name it. This was a highly sought after function in the McLan app, so we went ahead and we made it happen. So I'm going to show you a quick tour of the new functions and how to use them and what they do. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are at the main page of the McLan app. Um, this app update is available for both Android and iOS devices. I'm currently using my iPhone with my wireless link module. If you guys need help setting that device up, we have a video on how to do that. All right, so most of the new features will be in the programming and the data logging tab. I'm going to start off in the programming tab. As you can see, there's a couple new buttons at the top. We have export, import, edit profile name, reset, and save. So all those buttons are pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go through each function to show you guys how they work. So the most easy one to guess is the edit profile name. Um, so now you can rename any of the presets to a different name. Um, so you can name this, for example, let's just name this carpet. We can name this the carpet file. Um, and also be mindful that the name has to be shorter than 26 characters. If you keep typing more than that, it's not going to let you save it. So make sure it's less than 26 characters. So let's go ahead and rename this carpet. Hit done. And now that file is saved as carpet on your list of tunes. So now you can also save that file to your device as well. That way you can upload it to a different ESC or your friend's ESC. Um, or you can just have a hard copy of that just in case. So you can then go ahead and hit export. On iPhone, there's going to be a special button on my iPhone. And then select McLan Smart Link. Um, you can save it anywhere, but we have a folder that dedicated just for this. Um, so I'm going to use that. Then hit the top right, hit save. And now that carpet file, or the, the entire tune, will be saved on your phone. And now you can also import files too. So you can overwrite any of these files with the files you have exported. So let's overwrite uh, Torrent and Car Blinky. Um, say you're never going to run this class, so you can go ahead and rewrite it or overwrite it with a different file. Let's overwrite it with the carpet file. So now um, pretty much we have two files, two presets of the same tune. So now you can maybe say this carpet, rename this to carpet no boost. So I'll start showing you what the save and reset buttons do. So re you rename this to carpet no boost. You can go to timing. Let's change the timing. Change the timing on turbo. And then now you have to hit the save button. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now that tune is then sent to the ESC and it's saved. All right, and now on to the reset button. The reset button is going to change the tune back to how it was as a preset, um, even though you renamed it. So this carpet file used to be off-road two-wheel drive modified carpet, and I just renamed it to carpet. So if we go ahead and hit reset, it's going to change the entire tune back to the preset. However, the name will still say carpet. So you can go ahead and change this back to off-road two-wheel drive modified carpet. Um, but I'm just going to keep it carpet just for, for just for now. Just keep that in mind. If you ever mess up a tune um, and you want to hit reset, the name's not going to change. It's going to stay the same as to whatever you renamed it. All right, so that's pretty much it for the programming tab. Let's head over to the data logging tab. Um, as normal, you can hit load data, load from ESC. Now it's going to pull data off of the ESC onto the phone. So now you can see my data log here. Um, just keep in mind this is not a drag car, so you won't see your normal drag um, data logs. So now you can pretty much do the same thing as the export and import buttons in the programming tab. You can now save these tunes to your device um, so you can reload them later. And you can do that by hitting save data and then same kind of thing. We have a folder for this app. Hit the McLean Smart Link app and hit save. So now at any point, if you want to go back and look at the data log, all you have to do is hit load data and then hit load from file and then select the data file that you just saved. Um, and to keep in mind, you can also rename it however you would like. So if you want to hit save data, just tap on McLan data log, and then you can rename it to uh, just say track day, for example. Track day, hit done, and now it's going to save as track day. So if you hit load data, load from file, then you can load track day data log. And then you can see all the data log and the graph as you normally would be able to. 
Alright you guys, so those are all the new functions. I know a lot of you guys were asking for them, so we're happy to provide those new functions to you guys. Um, just keep in mind that this is an app update for the McLan app itself for the iOS and Android device. Just remember that it's not a firmware update. There's no need to update the firmware on your ESC. It's just an app update, so no need to update your firmware. You guys know the deal. Go make some passes. Go do some laps. Happy racing. This is Cameron Romberger from McLan Racing. You guys take care.